gamers. This is Bobby from Day After Day Gaming here to bring some gameplay of Remnant from the Ashes. So this is a new game I just picked up on Steam. Just tweaking all my settings to make sure everything looks good. Give me one second here. But we're just going to kind of check it out some and see how things are going with it. See how it is. I uh, played a little bit of it so far. Uh, primarily what we've been seeing is it's a Dark Souls-ish like game. So for those of you who don't know what that means, essentially you run around in, in a Dark Souls like game. You run around, defeat bad guys, collect in Dark Souls it was souls, and then you would turn them in to upgrade your skills, your abilities, so on and so forth. In this one, I don't know what the currency is. I didn't get far enough into the game yet. When I just I just played through the tutorial earlier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new character. Start off gameplay fresh. Uh, in case people want to see how it opens, how it begins, things like that. And then we're going to go in and just see where things take us. This is my, well, it really is the first day I've been playing the game, because like I said, I just picked it up off Steam. I only played through tutorial earlier, so I still have a ways to go. So right now we're just kind of going through some visuals. I'll probably just, eh, let's just randomize. I'm lazy right now. Hmm. Randomize. I wonder what this is. This looks like it. This looks like it was important. All right, we're gonna randomize to there because I got lazy. All right. We're gonna confirm now. Okay, so I haven't played anything yet. We're gonna select the character. Oh, here it is. Play game over here. So, for those of you who don't know, this is does have the capability to do co-op. So I'm hoping that if I get some of my friends that play games with me to pick up the game, we might do some of the co-op. So I believe it's three-player co-op. So yourself and two friends. So I'm hoping we'll see some of that in the future. But until then, eh, you know, we're just gonna play around with it. Kind of see how it goes. You know, for anybody who joins the chat, you know, feel free to chat. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Like I said, this is my first day of playing it, so I haven't really gotten what much into it yet. Do when our last hope fails? Now we're watching an intro. That you must discover our last hope. Sail this sea before you. In search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix. Blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm. The beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. Your journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear something else has awoken. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower. Learn what became of our warrior. Face what lurks within. Not a big tidal wave! Ah! And we've died. So game ended. That was a quick when game, our right? Last no, hope fails. Another shall take its place. Our boat got smashed to so pieces. Long.
Okay, are, are we done? I'm thinking we're done with the video. Now we'll get up with our trusty medieval sword. Even though this takes place in more like modern day times. Give me my long sword. Yep, joinable after tutorial. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just playing by myself right now. Don't know if any of my friends on my current friends list actually have it this game. So pretty much what you have right now is let me get this real quick. You have yeah, help menus of how to do stuff. So I'm gonna use my healing consumable. So essentially it's left click to attack. Uh, right click doesn't is like a I don't know what right click does actually. You hit it but nothing happens, so maybe nothing. Left click's your main attack button, then you can use spacebar with the arrow keys. To dodge in different directions, which is very Dark Soulsy. Uh, shift does run, and it uses up your stamina bar. That's below my health bar on the bottom right. And it says you're defeating these demon-looking guys. They're actually, I think, more like Cthulhu monsters. They seem like a lot of them have tentacles, so. Oh, and these guys throw their axes. I found that out last time I played through the tutorial, so. You can dodge them when they get ready to throw their axes at you, and then they just summon new ones from their butts, I don't know. Out of thin air! I see through one. Oh, he did too! Ah, crap, he hit me. It's alright. So, space vulture over obstacles, pretty standard. Oh, wait, wait, nope, nope. Did that last time. Yeah, you seem to be able to attack or interrupt them fairly well, so I try to do that when I can. So you can hear somebody fighting. I wonder where that is. Oh, you just know they're gonna fall. Aha, you missed. Yeah, I can't really do too much here in the beginning, so. Just running, running, running to kill stuff. Alright, and video time. Video time. <sighs> Axe to the neck or shoulder. Yeah, we ought to save the day. Even though we don't really, but you know, whatever. We couldn't save him, laddie. He be dead. More Cthulhu monsters on the way. Just fairly well, considering, you know. 
He's outnumbered. Well, if I was actually playing, I could probably take them all. Just saying. Sometimes not about those little things. I don't know what those things are. Look fast. Small. Hang in there. Hurry up, be okay. You got company. Tip, press alt to crouch. Wow. Yeah, there he showed us that one, though. I am awake. Hi there. Oh, take it slow. You got hurt real bad. I got hurt real bad. Real bad. Here are you. I'm Wallace. Hi, Wallace. I, I would call you Wally. Ask the commander if I could. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riegler found you outside. They brought you here. That was awful nice of them. They said he was. Never mind. Mark Commander dead, son. You should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. So you can break a lot of stuff in the room, from what I can tell. Oh yeah, stuff to read. Which, by the way, you use the right and left arrow keys to get past them all. We're not going to worry about it too much right now. But for lore information, read it at your own risk or peril or length of time. To hurry this along, we're going to skip that portion right now for the stream. And just concentrate on more of the brawling aspect and fighting and show some of the other stuff off. So, that is what we are doing. Alright. Commander! Well, look who's awake. You Is it me? Am I awake? I'm Commander Ford. This is my base. Named and after a car. You, friend, are. It's my job to know the kind of people. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there. Hm. But you've got no ch Truth is. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. <coughs> the the root. root are everywhere. That's what they call the monsters. The root. But probably because they're the root of all the evil, huh? Huh? Get it? I have enough. I'll tell you what. You wanna leave? First we need sure. power. With enough power, we might be able to react to get it running, then come back here. <laughs> we already lost a man down. Go check in with I don't imagine you're you do this for us. Sorry if I'm going too fast for any viewers who are watching or going to watch. <clears throat> Again, I did already go through a tutorial once, so decided I'm not interested in watching it again because I already it once. So we are skipping it and moving on. But if you do want to see more detail, just let me know in the chat and I will slow things down. <laughs> Or drop a line on the Discord page for Dance Day Gaming. It's on the Twitch site. That way you can just tell me in there to slow down. I'll try to put up a text area for the Remnant game, or just so it in general for me. And let me know what you want to see. We're also getting to a point where I have to pick a character class soon. Uh, I did pick the middle one? I can't remember what it is now. Kind of like the all-around class, sort of. Damn, Les. Where are you? I swear. 
try scaring me out. <sighs> Boo! I scared you. What? Where the hell did you come from? You nearly scared the life out of Oh, yeah, uh, I did. You're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterell? Hi, Ace. Is that right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. Yep. So, you ever start a reactor? <laughs> How hard could it be? So, lucky for you, just the press of a button on the turn would have done it myself, but without knowing the two of us. Okay, so you go upstairs and you probably need a weapon, huh? Alright, so Archetype was the ex-cultist, that's what it was. Couldn't remember the name for the life of me. So essentially I played this character last time because he seemed like the all-around kind of medium-range character. Uh, he seemed like he was fine. His coach gun was more like a double barrel shotgun almost, so wasn't too keen on that starting gun. But they have the repeater pistol and the scrap hatchet. And the reason I got him originally was I liked the idea for the Mender's Aura. So once the mod filled up, I could cast an area to heal health for all teammates. So I was like, that could be useful when I'm trying to play by myself. Uh, I want to try one of the other two guys, just see kind of what they do. Right now I'm leaning towards the Hunter. I do like long range stuff, so I want to see how the hunting rifle works. So I think we're going to try that out now. Oh, but if anybody's interested, let me just go through these real quick. So you'll see the three archetypes. You have the Hunter, who's more of a long range specialist. The Excultist, kind of the medium range, mid range combat. And then you have the Scrapper, who's the short range guy. So he's, you know, up in like armor and all kinds of stuff. So he has a shotgun, a repeater pistol, and a scrap hammer. And his mod imbues his ammunition with fire so he can immolate people potentially. I'll go back through the x real quick. So it's Coach Gun, which is like a two shot shotgun, a repeater pistol, and a scrap hatchet. He has the Mender's Aura to cast the healing area of effect. And then your hunter has a hunting rifle, repeater pistol, and scrap sword. And his hunter mark. Marks an enemy allowing you to do extra damage to it, or extra critical hit chance against it. And then you can also see enemies through walls. So that was kind of neat. So I think we're going to try out the Hunter this time, since I did play the other one. Oh, I should hit the R button though. You can hit the R button that toggles info, so you can see the three different damage types for the gun. So like the repeater pistols, damage 17, hunting rifle for the Hunters, 55, scrap swords, 35. Over here you have 17 for the X-Cult, this 102 for the Coach Gun, so it does a lot of damage. You just have to hit with it. Like I said, two shots, takes a little bit of time to reload, so it just takes practice. And then your Scrap Hatchet, which does damage of 40. So pretty good damage. Now on this side, he does even more damage. He has a Repeater Pistol for 17, the Shotgun for 130. Don't know how many shots it has because I haven't played him yet. And then the Scrap Hammer is like, looks like a two-handed Sledgehammer, 52 damage. So he definitely seems to do the most damage overall. But, as I said, I want to try out the Hunter, see what his long-range abilities do. And you do get more equipment as you play, I'm sure. There. I've seen it online. So we're just going to see what happens. Get up there and start the reactor. So if we hit I, we can see the traits here. We have Vigor, Endurance, and Shadow Walker. Those are our current traits. So essentially with Vigor we get extra health, it looks like. Endurance gives us more stamina, and Shadow Walker and gives us enemy awareness. And we got the pistol on. Ten shots with a rifle. Not bad, we'll see how damage is once the enemies come out. Yeah, I thought this was funny. This kind of reminded me a little bit of Fallout. Just because the way you got like, oh, here's the terminal, here's the old information, here's the warning. Press spacebar to continue. Felt very Fallout-y to me. And because I feel like being brave, we're just going to initialize without actually reading what anything does. Because, you know, why not?
Boy, you decided to charge at me a little bit. I can't shoot through the grates. Good to know. Not gonna hit me. He tried though. There we go. Alright, we have killed enough to get to the video portion of the level now. Go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good and effect discount. There we go. All right. So give me just a moment for a break. Gotta grab a drink. And we'll be right back online to continue the gameplay of Remnant.
All right. We are back in business. Okay. Moving right along now. See if we left any loot behind from some of the guys we killed earlier. Don't see any. You'll be kind of glowing on the ground. Oh, wait. No, there's some. I was wrong. We got some scrap lying about. Scrap seems to be the currency of the game for, like, buying upgrades and such, I think. Or buying new equipment, maybe. Again, I haven't gotten that far into it. I just finished the tutorial. Which, we're almost actually done with the tutorial, so. Let's finish this part up, and then I had not ventured out into the main world, so we're going to do a little bit of that today. And then see what, see how much time we have left. Uh, sure is good to have some light around here. Yeah, I don't quite have as much time as I normally would have since we had a, another stream earlier today by Cat. We had you the first Cat's Corner know, where she was doing a stream of, what was it? Nightmare from the Deep, a point-and-click uh, hidden object adventure game. So, uh, move fast. Listen, friend, uh, she wanted to play a trilogy of that through. I told her that would be a good idea. So, many people can keep the spirits out there. No offense, hopefully, you can tune in and watch that one. If not, make make some fun of her. And if you're looking to buy other or support her, whichever you want to do. Got old space you know, as her, as her father and <laughs> blood, it's more fun to egg on a little bit, you know. Free. Oh, one more thing. Uh, good to see a new face. All right, so the Dragon Heart. It's very similar to the potions in the Dark Souls game that you have a certain number of them, and as you progress through the game, you get more. But you use them, they go away. But then when you rest at a rest point, uh, you get them back. So, this is very similar to how that works. Great work with the and here's Ace. Fun. Make a good team. But Ace does absolutely nothing for you at the moment. Huh. Absolutely positively nothing. Keep on the lookout for crates. No one seems to care, like in most games, if you break the crate or not. They won't get mad. They won't get upset. They just sit there and watch you do it. Like crates? No problem! I don't want to store my stuff in it or, you know, set my food on top of that. We don't even need the crates. They're all fluff anyway, right? I think that's almost all the crates. Hopefully it's most of them. Back to the adventure. Glad to see you got <laughs> and then very well. You've proven yourself reliable, but I doubt you'll last long out. Go see Riggs and Mickey. Come see me afterwards. Help! We need help! Oh, storage chests, morge chests. We don't need that either. Oh, I had not tried breaking the chair yet. I got some iron. Nice. You don't need that box on top of your desk. Screw that box. Oh, there's a crate up there. Missed that last time, too. Alright, let's go find these two peoples. Hey, it's good to see you on your feet again. Um, welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a... Name's Riggler. Riggs. calls me Riggs. I don't think I like the name of Wriggler. Sword. It's a very weird name. When we found you. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to 
Yeah, burn some iron, make some scrap. Now we have enough to upgrade a weapon. I think we're going to go ahead and just upgrade the hunting rifle. I, I like the hunting rifle. It seemed like it was pretty good. We can increase damage from 55 to 60.5. Sounds like a plan. So let's see. We hit spacebar to upgrade. We hit spacebar again. And we are done. I don't think we have a mod yet, do we? No, if we had a mod, we'd click here, but we don't yet, so... That's okay. All right. Hey, now that's better. Oh, and uh, take this. this yeah, give me my suit. Stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Oh, I'll just change your front of you. It doesn't matter if I'm naked or anything. Every little bit counts out there. Now I feel like I'm in like Metro Last Light or something. It's true. You know, you did right by us. If you need Anne McCabe over there, we'll help you out. But, uh, you know, she's not. Alright, let's talk to McCabe. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. Doesn't make sense to me. Apparently taking out a few root is enough. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who... I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. Yeah, right? I'm not You're some a pain in my ass, ass, Jesus. Got it? All right, then. From the look of that, that's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll... Now get out of here. Yeah, yeah. So we got our first one. We got our Hunter's Mark. So we go into our inventory. To our character sheet here. We'll do it on the hunting rifle. We're going to put on the Hunter's Mark. Alright. And with that, we should be good to go. So now, we'll go back to Ford to talk to her real quick. Good to see you. I hope this will be enough. We can't leave by the gates now. He said we should only... Well, considering you stuck... There's a terminal. With any luck, we can... The Datla Key! Thank you for all the Datla. Insert key. Arming nukes. And we destroy the world. And we just activate the terminal. Nothing terribly exciting. To the outside world now. It's a plane you flight where we're gonna sleep. This is your shot. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the route first attacked. He was determined to learn where the root came from. He spent so much time out there searching. And one day, there's a room. If you want to reach the eighth, listen. Alright, now, once you complete that part of the mission, you can now join friends. So if you are going to play this co-op, you got to at least get to here. 
it seems, before you can play with other people. Doesn't take long, so can't complain all that much. Okay, pretty sure I got these crates early. It's like they grew back, what the hell? It's weird. Yeah, I think the crates did grow back, I don't know if that happened. Although, to be fair, I did not really look around much last time. After I activated and finished the door, I just kind of quit for the day earlier. Might as well try to get a little more scrap, it won't hurt anything. He does have stuff for sale. Let's see what he has. He didn't have anything last time when I tried, so probably had to finish unlocking the red eye before he can unlock his store. So let's see. Adrenaline increases movement speed by 15%. Standing aim movement speed by 25. Melee attack speed. Okay, you have an ammo box. Replenishes all ammo for 200. That seems expensive. A bandage prevents, stops bleeding, blood wart, that's the health regen, drink, frenzy dust, boost fire rate and reload speed. Hydro coolant extinguishes burning, and oil skin tonic. Removes infected, and there's a ring of the admiral. Seems kind of bad, really. Damage received is increased by 300%, but range of melee damage dealt is increased by 15%. Doesn't feel like it's a good bargain, you know? Alright, let's see if Ace has anything. Doesn't... Wait, maybe it does. Okay, she's got iron, apparently. Don't know if I need any, but take care then. Okay, bye bye. Oops, wrong way. I guess we should go see what uh Rigson. I forgot her name now. I'm not in the mood for Chad. What now? Yeah, better be worth my time. Oh, crafting. And apparently I can do absolutely nothing. Which she doesn't buy items. Oh, okay. So I can buy the other two... Uh, weapon mods. So there's the healing one and there's the yeah, weapon. Good. Other weapon one. So that's good I'm to know. Out. I'm not in the mood for chat. Oops. Ah, good. Certainly. Let's see what he has. Okay, so that's of course the upgrade tab. Let's see what's under buy items. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's the other weapons and equipment. The ones you didn't get by picking the other characters. Same with the armor, you have their armor pieces too, so you can... Looks like... Change the armors, and it also looks like they have a set bonus. Interesting. All right. Well, we're going to ignore that Thank for now. Friend. Don't really need any of it. Mm. And let's head out on the red eye. Alright, Adventure Mode is now available. Adventure Mode can be accessed from World Stone under World Settings in Ward 13. 
You may have one campaign and one adventure mode active at all times. Okay. These world settings switch back and forth between campaign and adventure mode. All right. Okay, so we can do this mode. Let's just see what. It's. Let's look at it. Campaign's pretty self explanatory, right? That should just be the normal campaign to pay, play it through. Also, there's a reroll campaign button. That's probably to restart the campaign from scratch. But let's look at create new adventure. So there's ROM adventure mode. Radiated sand and ruined cities are all the remains of a great civilization to watch throw back the root. So it looks like these are just different adventures in different places. Let's pick one. Let's just pick Earth. We're going to stay on normal for now. So do I select it? Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Travel, city. Yes. So not sure what we're going to have in the adventure mode. Of course, I haven't played either of that or the campaign past the tutorial, so... May not have been a smart idea to jump right into adventure, in case there are bosses and things that won't know how to fight. But, uh... We're feeling frisky. So far, it doesn't look too exciting. Looks like a pretty standard area right now. I hear something, though. Moving. You know what? That's me stepping in puddles. Oh, we have shooters. Alright, well, I need to keep that in mind. I hear them, I just don't know where they are. Well, obviously not going to get up there. Got some iron. Music. Where's the music coming from? What the hell was that? No idea what that was. Holy crap, I think that it was a guy I was shooting. Like he cast a spell at me, but I dodged or something? I don't know. I got root rot. Holy crap. Pretty scary. I'm glad I got this weapon though. Oh crap.
don't have a super lot of ammo or anything. Well, I've got 20 some shots left. Luckily, I seem to be picking up a bunch of long gun ammo, so. That's a good thing, right? There's a map too, right? Yeah, there's a map. So I started there, I think. Is that a checkpoint too? We should probably go check it out, huh? It's a checkpoint. How the hell did I get to it? I must have missed it. Okay, I didn't miss it. I couldn't get in that place. So that was like a treasure chest, okay. Alright, I got it. I'm slowly figuring out the game. Somebody was in here. I was right. See, there was somebody in there. Got him. I really do feel like there's somebody else out there somewhere. So I was right. because I could hear them breathing or whatever they do. Should be down there. I guess so. Looks like the next way to go, right?
hell did that guy come from? Isn't that where I was a few minutes ago? That's where I came in. No idea. It is a pretty creepy sounding game though when you're listening to it. And you walk around and you hear all this weird ass breathing around you. Definitely a little unsettling, I will say. Keep forgetting I had that F ability to see enemies through walls and shit. Okay, not sure what this is. Thought it was a save point at first, but. Apparently it might be like a mini dungeon in the adventure or something. I think I just went through the sewers. Good news is we have a checkpoint. Okay, so this is very like Dark Souls, so I just respawned all the basic enemies in the world. So you're leveled, I think. At least I think it's considered leveling. I'm not 100% sure. Well, you exploded nicely. What is that? I don't know if this is like a boss or what this is. Oh, whatever it was, I just broke it, so... So now I'm bleeding. Oh well, that did not go well, did it at all.
Great. More bad news. Okay. Just waiting for all those guys to come around the corner and try to eat my face, so. Crazy. Oh, it's over. Okay, so I did die over here, but I don't see loot or anything, so I don't know if, even though it's like Dark Souls ish, maybe you don't actually have to worry about losing items. Not sure, since that was my first death. And now that Shroud thing's not here anymore, that's weird. Oh well. Honestly, not gonna worry too much about it. Try to do better next time we fight. Boom! Shakalaka. Should be more. Where are you hiding? Yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. Oh crap! I was right, that did not sound good at all. Woo! That sounds like something big's coming. Reload, reload. Oh crap. He's got a Gatling gun. Oof. Rough. Luminite well, crystal. What's the blue thing? Home of Knowledge. Meant to hit Q. Don't know why I hit that button, but oh well. A lot of guys. At 
Hopefully sooner they're coming now. Screw you guys, huh? Still got at least three more down there. Crap, what the hell? That's that thing that killed me last time. Run away! It's after me! They got me. You heard about that thing too? It chases you around, and kills you. Well, at least I should have picked up some things along the way. Hope. To get some trade points available here so we can put those on next time. Hey, hey, I wasn't doing anything with you guys yet. Stop that. All right, use the checkpoint real quick. We're going to go ahead and travel back to Ward 13 for right now. So we're able to loot some stuff. Didn't finish all the way. But I'm okay with that. It was fun just seeing how it all worked. And the guy chasing you is kind of scary. Yeah, I think the idea was if you look at him, you move slower. But I didn't have a lot of luck doing that since I was by myself. Kind of hard to look at him and kill everything else and not die, so... But it's a learning curve. We'll get there. I don't know if he's in the campaign. He might only be in the... Uh... Adventure mode. Or something, something. Oh, no chest this time. That's okay. So we're gonna upgrade some stuff, I think, along the way here. Let's see what we can upgrade with Wriggle. Wriggler? Riggs? Let's see what I've got. Upgrade. Is that stuff we found? Take care, my friend. Hold on.
I did? Okay, so we actually found some new stuff. I did not realize that. I don't know if I want it right now, though. See, only because the bonus I'm getting, like, right now is 25% more range damage with three pieces of this equipment on. This one right now just gives me teamwork range, which I don't have a team since I'm kind of by myself right now. Although 10 percent chance more loot would be kind of nice. Underpants, those give... Nope, nope, eventually like me. Okay. So we got two pieces of an item. Don't forget any of that yet. Just ring of evasion. Oops. I, I took it off by accident. Put it back on. No new... Whoops. No new weapon jet that I saw. So I think we're just going to upgrade our other stuff, and then we might call it a night. So we want to upgrade the hunter stuff. So let's do the trench coat, because that one I'm definitely going to keep. So we need to space to upgrade it. Space it again. Awesome, 24. 30 plus 2. Alright, well we're going to get a little more into detail next time on the stream, but I think we are pretty much done for tonight. How long are we going for here now? A little over an hour. So that gave us about two hours tonight in total streams. We did two different streams, so... Thanks for anybody who watched. Uh, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming, uh, bringing you Remnant from the Ashes. We're going to continue playing some more a little later. I'll probably play on my own a little bit just to progress the story mode a little bit or play some more adventure, unlock some more items, just so we can get a little bit further into the gameplay here. But uh, I will set up a Discord text channel for this game. If anybody wants to ever uh, text anything about it, if you want to see one of the other uh, starting classes or get some more details just let me know we'll stream it uh if anybody wants to try playing it you know drop it on discord as well but thanks for watching again this is bobby at day after day gaming keep on gaming day after day have a good